Hey guys, as you may know, I can't stop thinking about Diablo 4, so I am consuming a lot of content about Diablo 4, and this video caught my attention. All classes not in Diablo 4 by Legendary Drops, because people are already, the game hasn't come out yet, and people are already thinking about what possible classes we might have in the future. And yes, this is because we can't stop thinking about the game, and we are fantasizing all day long about this shit, you know? But also, for example, I know a lot of people feel <coughs> like the original roster of characters doesn't have the characters that they wanted to play, and a lot of people feel like this with the Paladin or the Crusader, or some sort of a uh, holy damage dealer, you know? And I have to say that I agree. I would also would love to have a, a holy damage dealer in the game, even if it is a priest or something like that, you know? So that is why a lot of people think that the paladin is going to be, or some sort of paladin, is going to be the first added uh, exact class uh, for Diablo 4 when we get one. But yes, uh, this is a topic that is really cool and interesting, and since... I know that I am not the only one that can stop thinking about Diablo 4. Let's just watch the video and see what's up, you know? Welcome to Legendary Drops. My name is Ian, and I Yo, am Ian. suffering a personal crisis. There isn't a moment that goes by that I don't think about Diablo 4. True and real, brother. I am the same, brother. Well, I was just talking about that. I can't stop thinking about this shit, brother. And yes, this is a personal crisis because it is affecting my enjoyment of other things, brother. I, I am playing another game and I am thinking constantly, this isn't Diablo 4 and I am wasting my time, brother. I want to play Diablo 4, brother. And I, and I know I am not the only one, brother. This is This is... Uh, I don't know, diminishing my enjoyment of other games, bro. It's on my mind constantly. Blizzard, you said it's cold. So that means it's done, right? You can just give it to me, right? Exactly, exactly, bro. Well, they are going to give us the extra beta. They want the game to release the 6 6 because, oh, we are releasing the game on the 6 6. <laughs> we are so dark, you know. So they aren't changing that bullshit, bro. But uh, we are getting an extra beta, which is cool. Guys, I've tried everything that I can think of, okay? I wouldn't play Path of Exile. I'm not an engineer. That's far too much for me. I wouldn't play. I am playing Path of Exile right now. The game is pretty good. I am enjoying it. Uh, I am playing it for the first time ever. So I am going through the story. I am like level 50, something like that. I am on the second part of the game, Act 1. The, the first part of the game has five acts. I am on the second part of the game, Act 1, right now in, in the story. Uh, and the game is pretty good. The game is pretty good. I don't really fucking know what is going on with the story. I believe it is told in a really bad way and I don't give a fuck. But the mechanics of the game, the game is fun. I like the game. But it is not Diablo 4, brother. And I know that for a lot of people this m might be sacrilege because they are uh, PoE veterans and they like PoE a lot. But after playing the, the Diablo 4 beta, brother, the game just feels great and, and PoE doesn't come even close to the, the, the gameplay feeling and the atmosphere and the immersion. Of course, Path of Exile has more uh, character building possibilities, you know, customization in terms of abilities and builds. Yes, of course, everybody knows that, but that is not all that matters in the game. The immersion, the atmosphere, the graphics, Path of Exile graphics sucks. Uh, the story, of course, the Diablo story is better, everybody knows it. And the feel of the game, in my opinion, is the most important thing in a game. And there isn't a game that comes close to Diablo, brother. The, 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 the way the character moves, the way you feel the character, you know, the feedback the game gives you when you use an ability. It is just fucking awesome, brother. And again, I like Path of, I am liking Path of Exile right now. Uh, this is not a bash on, on Path of Exile. And... I am playing Path of Exile precisely because I am on withdrawal from Diablo 4. Since I played the Diablo 4 beta and I wanted to keep playing Diablo 4 and I couldn't, I said to me, as the same as this dude is saying in here, I, I have to uh, calm this withdrawal, I have to do something about this, and then I went and played play PoE. So if you go and see uh, PoE's uh, 
player count they re, uh, reached this season the highest player count they ever had in their history and i believe it is largely because of diablo force withdrawal a lot of people went and played poe this season because they couldn't play diablo 4 of course the game is still good a lot of people would have played either way but i believe this gave an influx of new people you know yeah, the same as me and the game is good and, and it maybe had some retention but another game that i tried because of the same reason is last epoch and again the game is really good i like last epoch a lot i am what level am i like level 40 level 50 and the game is pretty good i have to say that i like last epoch uh, character customization the best out of the three out of the three games last epoch has a skill tree for each ability but it is not as complicated as the poe one so i have to say that i like uh, the po the, the last epoch system a lot more uh, on the on the customization of the character bro and but again the diablo 4 feels better the atmosphere is better the story the immersion the graphics and the way the game plays it's just it is not even close brother it is not even close but last epoch is a pretty good game if you haven't played it and you are in diablo 4 withdrawal give last epoch a try if you can if you don't have to buy the game because it is a paid game poe path of exile is a free game give path of exile a try the game is a pretty good game but i know this is a completely tangential topic but i wanted to talk about that because yes i i am trying other things because i am on withdrawal from uh, diablo 4 let's keep watching the video last epoch great game review on it coming eventually oh he played he's playing last epoch that's cool but still not the same I've gone back to play Diablo 2 and 3, and while they are great games, it still doesn't scratch that itch the same way. I also played Diablo 2 and 3. I, I went to the campaign, and I played uh, Diablo Immortal, but I couldn't do it, brothers. I lasted only for like an hour and a half, and I uninstalled. Game is bullshit, brother. Don't, don't even try it. Don't even try it. Game is bullshit. But Diablo 2 resurrected and uh, Diablo 3 pretty good the only thing that I didn't play because I don't have it is the Reaper of Souls expansion for Diablo 3 I just completed the the normal campaign you know hey so the only thing that I can think of the only thing I think I can do is just talk about my problems with you so that's what we're mm -hmm. gonna do today we're gonna talk about Diablo 4 we're gonna scorn it for not being out yet <laughs> We're going to talk about what's missing from Diablo 4, and that's classes, my friend. Quite a few. When you go back and you play some of the older games, you quickly realize there are a lot of classes that didn't make it into Diablo 4. That's true, what we're going to do. True. Uh, let's think about it, guys. What classes were in other Diablos that are not in Diablo 4? We know that if you can come up with new classes, there is infinite classes. But let's not think about that. Let's think in classes that were in the game before than right now we don't have you could say that the warrior in diablo one is a class that we don't have but you could say that the barbarian is a is a warrior they just converted the warrior to a barbarian so let's not think about that one that was in diablo one we have the rogue and the sorcerer from diablo one no worries there then in diablo two you have the assassin but the assassin is just the rogue let's be honest so we have that one you have the amazon we don't have the amazon some people could say you have the amazon on the rogue but i don't agree with that because the rogue because he the rogue uses a, ba, a, a bow it doesn't matter brother the, the amazon used a spear javelins and shields aside from the bow we don't have another uh, class that uses that type of of weaponry you know and I, I i have to tell you i like amazons and i like uh, that uh, f fantasy of the shield and spear how do you say it uh, warrior you know the shield and spear uh, character i don't know if amazons can be dudes so maybe they don't want to bring amazons because now we have the that the classes are dudes or girls you know so maybe they don't want to bring a class that they, that can't be a dude i don't know i wouldn't give a fuck i like amazons let them just be girls who cares they are cool brother uh what other class 
we have the necromancer we have the barbarians we have the druids the paladin we don't have the paladin that is the other class that we are missing for diablo 2 and that is the one that a lot of people think is coming in the future and for diablo 3 then we have the crusader you could uh, merge that one with the paladin as just one class the holy damage dealer the from diablo 3 what we don't have the witch doctor brother i like the witch doctor a lot some people say you don't need the witch doctor because you have the necromancer fuck you the witch doctor is different and it's cool brother i don't give a fuck give me the witch doctor and you know why i fear that they are never going to give us the witch doctor in here and that fucking sucks i wouldn't care if the witch doctor comes like this 88 uh, class you know or like the ninth class yes i can wait until it is the ninth class but give it to me i like witch doctors a lot what other thing is missing here the monks i don't give a fuck about monks yes they are they are cool they are cool some people like them i don't give a fuck i would prefer witch doctors and the other one is the demon hunters Again, we have the, the rogue. Some people might say that you don't need demon hunters because you have the rogue and they are kind of similar. I can see that, but I also can see how they could uh, differentiate the demon hunter from the rogue. Maybe the crossbows are different and they can give you more traps and mines and stuff like that. Uh, so they could do something to make it different, but it is like an overlapping fantasy, you know. That is the thing that they have to to focus on, and that is why I think the paladin is the is the most in, the most probable class to come into the game, because you could argue that uh, there is an overlapping in between rogue and Amazon, between rogue and, and demon hunters, between rogues and monks, uh, between uh, barbarians and warriors. If you wanna give it the warrior a try, between even witch doctor and necromancer but there is no overlap between the classes that we have announced and the paladin you know there is no overlap maybe uh, up the milis the melee class but aside from that there is no overlap the holy warrior with a shield there is no overlap in there in, in terms of fantasy that is why i believe uh, the paladin will be the first one but i really hope that they give us someday into the future the wish doctor but let's keep playing the game i have been talking a fucking lot and the and the video is just at one minute sorry for that guys we're gonna talk about today we're gonna talk about those classes we're gonna talk about their origins and we're gonna talk about whether or not we think some of those classes may show up later in future expansions of diablo 4. All right, so the first on the list is the Amazon. The Amazon was featured in Diablo 2 and in Heroes of the Storm. The Amazon is a versatile ranged fighter that can use bows, crossbows, spears, and javelins to take out their enemies from afar, dealing massive damage. Check that out in the in the in the video, brother. There is not nothing that does that right now in the game. She's throwing just javelin uh, lightning strikes. That is fucking awesome, brother. She's throwing a storm bolts. I want to see this dude. She also has several abilities that allow her to move around the battlefield pretty quickly and effectively, making her a great choice for- And don't ever say to me, you have the sorcerer that she throws lightning. Sorcerer sucks, brother. Sorcerers are for pussies. This is a javelin throwing warrior, brother. Players that prefer a more mobile play style. The Amazon is kind of a class of risk and reward as it does a ton of damage with its poison and lightning abilities. However, you have to be pretty accurate to make sure you're landing those hits because she doesn't throw those spears very quickly. Which is cool. Which the origin cool. of the Amazons trace back to a story of love loss between a first generation Nephilim named Phileos and an angel named Lacander. During Lilith's rampage against Denarius, many angels retreated back to the high heavens, Lacander being among those who returned to heaven. Phileos, not wanting to lose his love, utilized an artifact of unknown origin called the Sightless Eye to remain in contact Sightless Eye, that is one of the of the factions you can uh, support with the rogue. You know that uh, right now in Diablo 4 you have class specific mechanics. The specific mechanic of the rogue is that you can like align with a faction. One of the factions is the Brotherhood of the Sightless Eye. So right now you can see even a lore overlapping between the Amazon and, and the rogue. And maybe that will fuck up the, our possibilities of having an Amazon, brother. And I really would like to see an Amazon in Diablo 4, bro. 
with her while she remained in heaven. Over time, Lacander grew worried that the high heavens were going to discover Phileos, so she forbade him from using the sightless eye any further. Phileos, obeying Lacander's wishes, buried the sightless eye on the Isle of Scovos and mourned the loss of his love. Years later, Phileos moved on and eventually fell in love with a human woman named Ascara, and they had twin daughters. After Phileos passed away, those twin daughters left to the Scovos Isles to reclaim the sightless eye that their father had once buried, claiming it as their birthright. While the sightless eye could no longer make contact with the high heavens, it did show visions of the future, visions where they led an empire. The more mystical of the two sisters founded what would become the Oracle Cast, who would use the sightless eye for many years to guide society and assist in ruling over the Scovos Isles. The other twin, who was more of a warrior than a seer, created an order dedicated to the protection of the Isles and any of those that came after them. That is and so, the Ascari people were born, shepherded by the oracles, but protected and defended no, by the Amazons. No, so <laughs> Hundreds of years later, the sightless eye would end up being stolen by a renegade group of Ascari, named the Sisterhood of the Sightless Eye. That, that group would go on to become the rogue. It is not the brotherhood, it is the sisterhood. <laughs> And I've been calling it Brotherhood, dude. ...that we are all familiar with. Among their ranks is the rogue that we play in Diablo 1, and of their descendants in Diablo 4. I don't really foresee the return of the Amazon in Diablo 4, specifically because, well, <laughs> we have the rogue. And the rogue's bow style is really, really similar to that of the Amazon in Diablo 2. Now, if... Yes, I agree, but as, as I said earlier, we don't have the javelin spear, you know. We don't have that one, so you can give other stuff to the amazon you don't need to give them the, the bow and if you do give them the bow i am sure you can come up with new stuff it, it doesn't have to be exactly the same blizzard does plan on bringing the amazon back it's probably going to come with a major rework something that's going to be somewhat similar to diablo 2 but have a completely different spec alongside of it see they exactly. can keep the that javelins cool. and the spears but they're probably gonna have to go a different direction with the bow all right, now on to exactly. the Paladin, the hero most and, likely and to return cool. in Diablo 4. And yes, the Paladin, the Paladin, as as he's saying, it is the most likely to return again. I believe so because of the fantasy. We don't have the holy damage dealer, brother. The Paladin is a holy warrior who specializes in close combat and defensive abilities. He is a great choice for players who wish to be able to take a lot of damage, but deal it out in return. With a focus on offensive and defense. By the way, I like Crusaders a lot, and I haven't played them because I don't have Reaper of Souls. But in concept, because, brother, they are uh, warriors that have a shield as high as them and, and uh, fight with a flail. That is a cool fantasy, brother. We need that in Diablo 4. Maybe don't call it a Crusader, but give me the possibility to fight like that, you know, with a big shield with a flail of capabilities as well as the auras provided by personal and party related buffs the paladins utilize the power of light and an assortment of weapons to be able to take down the servants of hell as stated before the paladin is an incredibly unique character and due to its direct involvement with the church and denarius the paladin or crusader is most likely most probable exactly. the one to see at some point in diablo 4. Exactly. Paladin and Crusader are typically shown as a ramping class, very slow ramping class. They don't really deal a lot of damage at the very beginning. However, they become some of the most strongest characters to use in the endgame. The story of the Paladins is an interesting one. The Paladins have been known to be an integral part in the battle against the Burning Hells and made their first appearance in Diablo 2 with another variant, the Crusader, appearing in Diablo 3. The origin of the Paladins can be traced back to the ancient city of Zakarum located in the eastern region of Sanctuary. The Zakarum faith was a power... Wasn't that in Kuras where Mephisto is? I believe so, where, where Mephi Mephisto was, because we killed Mephisto in Diablo 2. But I believe that Mephisto corrupted the Zakarum order or something like that. Maybe I am wrong. Maybe he's going to explain that in here. Let's see what happens. ...powerful religion that spread throughout the land, and its followers believed that the power of light would bring peace and prosperity to the world. The Paladins were the Amen. most dedicated and skilled warriors in the Zakarum faith. They were trained in the use of swords, shields, and holy magics, and they were charged with defending the faith and its followers from the forces of darkness. However, as the years passed, the Zakarum faith became corrupted by the influence of the demon Mephisto. The religion began to twist and distort, 
and the paladins found themselves at odds with their own leaders. Despite this, there were paladins who remained true to their beliefs, and many of them continued the fight for the cause of the light, now known as the Crusaders in Diablo 3. Out of all of the classes cool. that I mentioned in this video, I believe that the Paladin is the one that's the most likely to see a return in Diablo 4. Same. Specifically because of the direct involvement of the Church and Denarius in this story. And also because it is the character fantasy that is missing, you know, the, again, the Holy Damage Warrior, it is a, a fantasy that we do currently don't have in the game and people want it. I am for sure one of the uh, persons that want that... Uh, fantasy in the game i'll be honest the the paladin in diablo 2 is kind of boring i know that this might <laughs> hurt some people's feelings but the, the paladin in diablo 2 is kind of boring but it doesn't matter because this is a new game and they can make it not boring this time because i am interested in the paladin because of the fantasy again the holy warrior make a damage in consecrating the ground you know maybe think about the retribution paladin in uh, wow what retribution paladin suck don't give me a retribution paladin give me something cool <laughs> in diablo 4 you know but you know what i mean make the paladin for the for and make it good brother it doesn't matter if you give it another name maybe it is a crusader some people were speculating something like a valkyrie i don't give a fuck just give me the holy warrior that is all also on top of that looking at the rest of the classes that we have available to us there's not really a lot of like heavy armor users a lot of knight classes and that's something that's missing from this game Exactly, so, that is true too. Here's the hoping that we get to... Because the barbarian, which is the soldier or something like that, or the warrior, is a barbarian, you know? They, they, they don't give a fuck about armor. They just go in and they just smash everything. In fact, a lot of the transmogs that you can see for the barbarian, they just strip their, their top down, you know? And they are just cheerless, showing up their muscles, you know? And that is the fantasy for the barbarian, which is fucking cool. We need the night, the holy night in the game, brother. Throw some hammers. Now on to the Demon Hunter. The Demon Hunter is an agile class and a master of ranged combat. Using a variety of traps, gadgets, crossbows, and bows to take out enemies from a distance. The Demon Hunter is unique in that it check. actually had a resource balancing mechanic, where the player had to generate and use both hatred and discipline, which made for a little bit more complex gameplay in comparison to some of the other classes. However, by the time you got to end game, you were wearing set gear and likely just spinning to win without any regard for resources. The origins of the demon... Which, by the way, is a stupid. I don't know if you guys have seen those videos where the, the demon hunter is just going... And everything is dying around it. I hope Diablo 4 doesn't turn into that shit. Please, please, don't throw Diablo 4 into that in the end game, brother. I don't want to play like that. I like this gameplay of dodging your skills and, and, and just micromanaging your character, brother. Not that bullshit that you are just... And everything is dying around and you don't care, you don't care about anything. Don't give me that shit, brother, please. Demon Hunters can be traced back to the time of the Great Conflict. A titanic battle between the forces... Oh, this high match is cool. We have here the Archangels, Arismatel, uh, Thiral is this, right? This is what? Ethereal. This is Imperius, and this is uh, Oriel. It's, it's Chicol Oriel. And here we have all the Lords of Hell. Ooh, look at that. That is Andaria. Andario. <laughs> that is cool. Forces of heaven and hell that raged on for centuries. During this time, a group of humans known as the Viz Jiktar became a group of rogue mage hunters, routing out all demonic corruption. As the great conflict came to an end, the Viz Jiktar began- By the way, you know what would be a cool new class for Diablo? I, I have been thinking this for a while. You, they have the demon hunter in here, you know? I don't give a fuck about these demon hunters, but this made me think about the demon hunter from WoW. And yes, Demon Hunter from WoW are also some type of pussy bitch behavior. But the big bad boy from the Demon Hunters, which is Illidan Stone Rage, he became a Demon Hunter. So he wants to hunt demons. <laughs> because he drank demon's blood. And that gave him powers. So he's using demonic powers to hunt down demons. 
give me something like that in Diablo 4. It doesn't have to be a Demon Hunter. In fact, please, don't be a Demon Hunter. Just give me a class that somehow gains demon powers to fight off demons. You know? So fight fire with fire. Give me a class like that in Diablo 4. That would be awesome, brother. I don't know. It might be drinking blood. It might be doing some kind of ritual. It might be the son of a demon. I don't know. But just a class that uses uh, the demonic powers to fight off uh, demons. That would be cool as fuck, brother. And why not? Do the same with angels. That would be cool too. Well, uh, paladins are kind of like that because they transmit the, the light's power, you know. And to fade from memory. However, their legacy lived on. And over time, a new generation of demon hunters emerged to take up the mantle. These new... I'm sorry, sorry, but one of the cool things about Demon Hunters in WoW is that they do a, a skill called Metamorphosis, and that is because they transform into a demon. Imagine having that. Imagine having that. That you have a character in WoW that at some point gains the ability to transform into a, a demonic figure to fight off demons. So he's a good guy, but he gained the, 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 some powers of a demon to fight off demons. Oh, that would be cool, brother. New demon hunters were drawn from all walks of life, but they shared one common goal, to rid the world of demonic forces that threatened it. They trained in the use of ranged weapons, developing unique skills and abilities that allowed them to track and take down Hold. demons with deadly precision. The demon hunter is an interesting prospect for Diablo 4 because it does have a lot of unique mechanics to it, but I don't feel like it's unique enough to differentiate itself from the rogue. The rogues teleporting exactly. they will have to like to focus more on the crossbows with additional mechanics and uh, on the traps they can do it if, if you have a little imagination and i know that people on the diablo team have ima imagination you can differentiate it enough the problem is that you have to think about the player's perspective you know is it worth it to develop all this class and all these cool new mechanics if we already have the rogue for the perspective of the player fantasy, do, do people want to create a demon hunter instead of a rogue? Because we already have a rogue for the people that want that fantasy. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't, you know. That is what I think they think when coming up with a new class. That is why Paladin is so cool. We don't have this fantasy into the game. But uh, bringing the, the demon hunter conflicts with the rogue. And that is the thing. And maybe that is that is the same thing that they think with the Witch Doctor. Like, uh, we don't want to bring the Witch Doctor because it overlaps with the Necromancer in terms of fantasy. But let me tell you, Blizzard, it doesn't. The Necromancer is one shit and the Witch Doctor is another shit. Give me the Witch Doctor! Abilities, ability to throw traps on the ground, it's ranged combat, use of bows, all feels really familiar to the Demon Hunter from Diablo 3. Now, like the Amazon, if Blizzard does want to put this class into the game later, they would actually have to do some pretty significant reworks. Um, but there are some things that do make it feel much more unique than the Amazon does. So, we'll see. And again, they can uh, focus on, on the crossbows and the traps, and yes, it will be unique. But I would prefer the Amazon over the Demon Hunter, for sure. Now on to our next class, the Monk. One of the key features of the monk class Fog is monks. its ability to move quickly and dodge attack. And yes, I like the fantasy of a dude that just fights with his fists. That is a cool fantasy. I like that, brother. Like you go into a dungeon and the dude just smash a demon to the ground with the power of his fist. That is a cool fantasy, but fuck monks. Fuck monks are pussy bitches. If you want to give me a dude that smashes things with just his fists, give it to me, but not a monk. Give me something else. Axe. The monk has a number of skills that allow it to dash and teleport across the battlefield, making it incredibly difficult for enemies to catch. The monk specializes in martial arts. It has the powerful ability to summon a spirit ally that mimics their attacks summons the elements to their aid, and utilizes mantras to increase damage, speed, defense, and provide healing. Among Sanctuary's most deadliest of warriors, the monks of the Soptev faith train their bodies and minds to become the utmost holy warriors for the land of Ivgarod. Soptev involves the worship of a thousand and one gods and goddesses. These gods are divided into gods of chaos and gods of order. 
Within the cloisters of the patriarchs, the monks endure harsh trials, both physically and spiritually, proving their devotion and attaining unmatched focus in battle. Daily ritualistic cleansings help the monks purify their spirits and overcome corruption that gnaws at the hearts of all men. In the pursuit of martial perfection, they also hone their legendary balance and clarity, skills that allow them to master both unarmed and armed combat. After a lifetime of preparation, anointed monks are permitted to leave the monasteries to serve the decrees of the patriarchs. The emblem on the forehead of all monks marks them as survivors, achievers, and pillars of their society. Now, I don't think the monk is a major candidate to return in Diablo 4, but Same. I do think that there is a solid possibility for it. Though it does have not. some derivatives of the Paladin class or the Crusader class, it really does have a completely unique play style to it, and there really isn't a whole lot of other classes that play similarly. Now, we don't really see a lot of influence from the monks. In if you want to bring a martial art dude or a dude that fights with just his fists, give it to me. That is cool, but not the monk. In Diablo 4, but... As the game progresses, as new areas become available to us, maybe we end up visiting the area that the monks are from, and then that's where we go and recruit them from. Uh, I'm really hoping that in the future, with a lot of the expansion material that we see, that we actually unlock new zones or new nations for us to be able to visit and experience Same. the story through. Please give, give now on to our me. final. There, if, if you look at the at the sanctuary map, the the part of the Diablo 4 world right now is just a fraction of the full sanctuary map and you could even say there are other stuff that is not figure figuring in the in the map you know so we have a lot of potential for future zones with expansions and I believe that that will be one of their uh, I don't know selling points for expansions like they bring up a new class and a new whole song with new stuff, new dungeons, new whatever, new exploring zones, that will be a selling point for the expansions for sure. I guarantee it, brother. And I hope we get to old zones, you know, like Loot Golang or the uh, Ariad Crater or whatever, Crater. And and, and maybe even Tristram or whatever, in, in, in terms of when the world expands. Or and, uh, places that we haven't seen before, like the Amazon Isles or whatever class the witch doctor the witch doctor can summon and control a variety of creatures including zombie dogs gargantuan beasts that and swarms of insects give it to me these summoned creatures can be used to distract enemies and deal damage while the witch doctor themselves uses hexes to weaken enemies and then pummel them with fire poison and spiritual damage the witch nice. doctors are a mysterious tribe of spiritual warriors that use magic and voodoo to combat evil they are skilled in the art of curses, hexes, and healing, and they often rely on the use of fetishes and talismans to aid them in battle. Witch doctors are often seen as eccentric or unpredictable, however, they are mostly a peaceful tribe and a powerful ally in the fight against heaven and hell. Now, the Khazra, or the Goatmen that we normally have seen throughout all of the Diablo games, are actually descendants from the Witch Doctor's Umbaru tribe. During the Mage Clan Wars, part of the Umbaru tribe ended up leaving the tribe and eventually came in contact with the Vajari. The Vajari used the disconnected Umbaru's latent spiritual ability to infuse them with demonic possession, slowly turning them into the violent Khazra that we know today. The Witch Doctor's appearance in Diablo 3 is a direct result of the growing issues with the Khazra as they are there to rid Sanctuary of their once peaceful clansmen. All right, so that's it. That's all the classes in Diablo that me. are not- Give me the Witch Doctor. From these ones that already exist, what are the ones that I want the most? Paladins or Crusaders or the Holy Warrior, obviously. Witch Doctors and then uh, the Amazons. In Diablo 4, and as you can see, there's quite a few of them. Witch Doctor being my favorite, but I do believe the pal- And for new classes out of nowhere, the one that I am telling you, please give me a class that uses uh, demonic powers to fight demons. Paladin is the most likely to see a return in Diablo 4 just because of the involvement of the church and where the story is going so far. I like the idea of Blizzard bringing back old characters, old heroes, fan favorites. However, I really want to see them make some new classes too. Exactly. I like the idea of a warlock being in the game. And I've also Warlocks seen some things cool. in the community talking about potential for a dark knight or a death knight which i think would be really cool as well 
It also, something cool, I think they're course. probably going to do is add old class archetypes to current classes that are in the game. Maybe give the rogue the ability to use a javelin or something like that. I think I would prefer the new class, but that could be a cool idea, of course. Uh, like, expand current classes, you know. Give them more stuff to do. They're going to get creative. I think they're going to add a lot of content because as we're seeing how popular the game is already and it's not even out yet. Exactly. If this stays the way it is and that many people end up buying the game, that many people end up playing and interacting with the game, that means Blizzard's going to make a lot of money. And when Blizzard's profiting, well, they're going to pump money back into it to make sure... That Let's hope so. Let's hope they don't just take away all the money. They give it to the investors. They go to live on a fucking island drinking margaritas. And they don't invest anything back into the fucking game. But if they are smart and they are saying this game is giving us a lot of fucking money. Let's give it more money to the game. So the game gives us back more money, you know. So let's hope that happens. I am going to tell you. I believe they are already working not even on the on the first expansion but even on the second expansion you know even on concept phase like they are uh, on on production or post production of the first expansion and they are on pre production of the second expansion because they work like this if you remember in in World of Warcraft and I know World of Warcraft is a bigger game they have said that when you are in one expansion they are already working on two expansions beyond that one or 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 they are skipping, not not skipping, but one expansion after what is coming next. So yes, they are working on this shit years ahead, you know. So I I think they are already on the concept phase of the second expansion, and on, on production of the first one, of course. That farm keeps running. This isn't one of my normal videos. I usually don't talk about class breakdowns or lore or really anything like that. Usually it's just general opinions about games or talking about community topics. So if you guys like this, let me know. Uh, it was a cool was video, brother. Kind of low on ideas at the time, and this is just something that kind of popped into my head. Yes, brother, that happens to me too. Like, oh, we already talk about there is to talk about Diablo 4 until we get the game. We won't really have much to talk about. So we are trying to come up with ideas of, of stuff to talk about the game, you know. But this was a cool video, my brother. Head, uh, yeah. So just drop a comment down below if you guys enjoyed the video. And also, let me know if there's any classes you would like to see in Diablo 4. I already said uh, it. The cat's sleeping, so I can't do the normal cat thing, sadly. I'm not going to wake him up. We'll be nice to him today. Let him but be. Thank you guys for watching the video. Uh, sure. There's a podcast on this channel every Sunday at 2 p.m. PST. Um, come by and check out the live streams. I stream two to three days a week, um, depending on how work is going. Uh, still pumping out a video every I stream too, guys. Follow me. I will leave the link down in the description on Twitch. You can come and watch me live doing all these things. Every week and having a good time. Outside of that, be cool. Stay righteous. Stay safe. Peace. Yo, bro, cool video, legendary drops. Cool cut, by the way, too. So, yes, bro, we are going to do this for sure, my brother. We are going to do this for sure. Thanks for being here, guys. This was a cool video. If you are still here, you are fucking awesome. God bless you. And remember, as a great Bill Hicks said, this is just a ride.